All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Starfield. <laughs> My name is Raven from the Sky. Well, let's do this. What we got here, huh? Super cool magnet sealant. Combo pack. Spiced worms. Guaranteed safe and loaded with protein. See what we see here, like a makeshift outpost or an outpost that's got that's been abandoned for a while. Oh, look at this. So, here is the crux, the crux of my troubles to accomplish anything. I need to work with other people, I need assistance, I need workers, I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions, and I can never help talking. It starts innocently, innocently, though, innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine. Or they have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try gently as I might to nudge their minds along the right path. And there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. What else you got here, bud? So I think this place has been abandoned. <laughs> Giant aliens, man. Pokeweed. <laughs> Structural root. Get in here. Let's see what you're working with in here. Industrial workbench. Gravity plus helmet. Doesn't weigh a lot, so I'll take it. Notebook. Today, in a soft voice, my assistant asked me if there was anything above the unity. It was all I could do to keep from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that would lead to such a question. It was asked honestly, and I answered the best I could. But even if my closest confidant here can fail to grasp the most basic of these truths, why am I bothering to explain any of it to any of them? Every word that drops from my mouth gets gobbled up, misheard, misremembered, misunderstood, mistranslated before I can issue the slightest clarification. People are necessary, but people are madness. I attempted to withdraw to go off alone to communicate with unity in my own way. They followed. Of course they followed. So where's number one? Number one and uh, two and three. But where's number one? a bit of peace a piece of peace is it is that anything it is that is that funny why am i trying to be funny have they driven me mad at last is there a difference between writing to myself and talking to myself the former certainty seems more acceptable than the latter i recall again that my mind is my own and that even if only it exists 
that is sufficient for me to believe in everything else. The unity has restored me once more. This time I act alone for now. Myself is a formidable opponent. I should have expected as much, but vanity is thankfully not among my vices. Regardless, it turns out time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man or whatever it is I have become. I don't like this person. Bad boy's almost sunk. Parking water. Hammer. Textile. Wire. bottle skin cream potatoes I am I am crazy I am not crazy The credulous simplicity of mundane humans never cease to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them. But I remember that I am pivy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know very well the blindness which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself. After all, I hope for their sake that they may someday understand, but for my sake I wish to be left alone. I find myself thinking about his various past and my possible futures. I imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. What is noticeable here, that road does seem gratifying. Every step is one of intrinsic reward, and I feel myself anticipating the pleasures and seeing a more contented version of myself in that future. Then for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if I instead embraced the twin twinges of compassion, I feel in my heart and I let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me wherever I try to work. If I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died, the road also seems gratifying. I also see a contented version of myself in the future. Here's the difference though. When I stopped thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There's something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I am grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. came seeking the right answers, you would know what question he asked. What, what is the unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my writings, what is the burden of people? 
People are necessary, but people are madness. Who's your most formidable opponent? Myself. Where does enduring content contentment come from? Gotcha. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you the truth. <coughs> Are these the... Are these the Starborn? That's the artifact. Weapon damage. Ramen. Pilgrim's final writing. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. The time will be different. It won't be about me. I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe for me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Gila second, Gila the two, the island hides the scorpion. And the scorpion sting hides the truth. What else you got here, buddy? Before we leave. Hold. Good money. I guess that's it. Back here. Quite a few powers I got it. Go.
Shiki EM weapons can pass through shields to temporarily disable powered system. A powered system. Look at that thing. <laughs> Hunting Ikradon. Statue. Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? Leaf. knows what it means so far they're friendly I want to kind of keep it that way what does your scanner reveal the territorial making them kind of, you know, hostile. star Keeper Aquila sent me to find the true meaning of unity it's time for round two then surrender or be destroyed what do you mean I mean, okay, I said that.
speak to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Ceasefire meeting, huh? Fine. Good. See, we can all get along from now on. See what they're talking about here. Hello again. <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. <laughs> All we ever wanted was to talk. You attacked us. Just tell me who you are, who the Starborn are. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship. Demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. That doesn't justify murder. And who gets to say that? You, me, the emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity, and all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. So is he the pilgrim? Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended. Barrett, it can't be you. I saw you die. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. What? I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe. 
and a doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. That's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. So this unity is where the artifacts are from? The temples? They are all connected. But both of you are trying to keep people from it. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <coughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done, countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? What? Keeper Aquilus? No, some other version of the same person? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I help one of you we combine our artifacts and enter the unity. I help someone who murdered my friend. Whatever war is going on between you two, I want no part of it. I feel like we don't <laughs> these two I really we don't have a choice. They're just gonna tell us an answer and it's gonna revert back to this choice. Bingo. So either you help the hunter. I want a truce. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Should I go with the hunter? The emissary and their kind only want to control you. I'll tell you everything I can. Sure you have more questions. Ask. What exactly is an armillary? When all the artifacts are assembled, a device they create is called the armillary. In many ways, a model of the multiverse itself through it you can reach the unity and from there you can become starborn what happens when you enter the unity it's not an easy experience to describe but the unity will speak to you offer you the chance to become starborn you will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn everything you were before will be gone Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? So you try to protect the artifacts, keep it from being abused? You've seen the terror the hunter causes. 
Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. You might think the Emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. After you attacked the Lodge, you let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. What is the entity to you? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. You called the Emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision. Not someone else's. True. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. You had this meeting because of me? <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. That it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Thank you. All I ever wanted was answers. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. 
You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to see if you grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.